Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guy and this is episode number 11 of the Platformer series and this is probably the second last episode so we have uh, not a lot left now but uh, hopefully this is going to be interesting and well let's see how it goes. Uh, so in in this episode we are this is going to be just a short episode and we are going to final uh, we are going to finalize the game in the next two episodes actually so this is the third last episode and uh, in this episode we are going to only do uh, the only thing we are going to do is implement uh, ammo system for our player and ammo pickup so in order to do that let's get started so first of all open a visual studio uh, in here i'm going to open up my player script now as you know uh, we are not going to use uh, like in the FPS one we did uh, a weird system kind of uh, in which we had uh, come on in which we had uh, you know magazine and stuff but we are not going to do that this time we are only going to have a private int called default ammo and uh, another CGLite field here private int called max ammo so this uh, this default ammo uh, this max ammo will be you know we will uh, make sure that um, because you know when we are doing pickups we do not want the ammo to increase infinitely so we are going to use this max ammo for that and in here what I will do is uh, uh, go under my start method and I will say uh, we will of course create in here a uh, private uh, int called ammo uh, current ammo and we will set uh, if we will uh, say in if our default ammo is less than or equal to our ammo uh, then we are going to set our ammo is equal to default ammo oh by the way I think it might make sense to make these values u uh, int because uh, that way we will uh, make sure that uh, uh, come on ammo is a uint as well okay uh, and this way we will make sure that we do not put a value of less than zero here because of course we do not want that so make this uint unsigned ints which means only positive values so yeah this should uh, is less than max ammo actually so if it's less than max ammo then we set it to default ammo else uh, we set ammo is equal to max ammo so yeah this should work for setting the default ammo and in the fire function what we need to do is uh, we can we need to say uh, if ammo is greater than zero uh, then we are going uh, if ammo is uh, less than or equal to even so it cannot be less than zero if it's less than or equal to zero then we are going to return uh, yeah uh, actually not return we are going to yield break uh, so that uh, we stop going any further because of course we do not want to you know uh, uh, go further and uh, uh, actually shoot because uh, if you haven't got any ammo now if we uh, if we do have ammo in the end what we will do is uh, uh, here what we will do is we will say ammo is equal, uh, ammo minus minus we just say that uh, so that it gets subtracted uh, we'll just decrement our ammo and yeah this should work and this should actually never go below zero because we, if it's zero then we will check here and we will not execute this at all so it should not go uh, negative and you know, overflow or something underflow actually because you know remember this is an unsigned uh, integer and so this should this should really work so if i go under unity here i'm going to uh, select my player then i'm going to go here and turn on debug mode so that i can actually see the ammo so you can see my uh, i'm going to just go here and uh, oh, actually, for some reason, uh, let me see what the problem. Uh, uh, for some reason, it seems that no headers are being displayed. Okay, we are in debug mode. All right, in debug mode, no headers are actually displayed. Anyways, uh, we are going to set our default ammo to the uh, I don't know something like 50. Oh uh, no, that's too much. 20, and our max ammo to be uh, 100. Uh, so we cannot possess ammo greater than 100 so when we start our ammo should jump to 20 and you can see that you cannot make it go if i if i actually try to modify this we cannot make it go below zero uh, so yeah that's awesome that's the reason we use uh, unsigned here so that's working so if i hit play again just to show you if uh, when we shoot our ammo is decreased you can see if i shoot my ammo becomes 19 18 17 16 15 just keep shooting 
uh, you can hold because this is kind of automatic, semi-automatic. Uh, and uh, after a little bit, you should see that okay, one uh, only one left, and then I'm going to shoot, and now zero ammo, and now we cannot shoot. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. All right, guys. So the next thing to do is add the UI for our ammo. In order to do that, I think it's pretty obvious. Just uh, we are going to uh, place it somewhere here. And for that, I'm going to go under canvas, right click, add in a UI image here uh, for our background. And this is going to be our ammo background. I'm going to go in, okay, come on. Uh, oh, we are still in debug mode. Uh, turn that off, normal mode. Okay, uh, then make it, uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, make it uh, like this uh, in the bottom left corner. Then I'm going to position it like that okay oh we are increasing the width i thought i was moving it uh and i'm going to increase its uh, this a bit so that it's a bit better uh 200 i think and 60 for the height uh position x something like 120 and on the y 50 seems all right maybe not maybe 40. okay then we are going to change its sprite to be UI sprite so that it's got like nice round corners and stuff. Uh, yeah, all right. Right click on this now, go under UI, add in a text mesh pro here, call it uh, ammo text. Ammo text. And then set it to, uh, and make it black, of course, because we want it to be visible. Make it bold, uh, align perfectly, and then make sure that it's stretched, uh, auto sized and then add in like 10 10 10 and 10 padding that's a bit too much actually <laughs> just 5 5 uh, 5 for this uh, all right maybe i think left and uh, left might make some more sense 7.5 and 10.5 all right that looks better uh, here uh, set the text to something like uh, uh, i don't know 20 by 100 uh actually yeah that's all right this will show the max amount of ammo we can have and this will show the current amount of ammo we have so yeah this should this should work for our uh, basic you know uh, what we want our basic layout and now we are going to program uh, it so that we can actually uh, set this so go under here uh, in my player script in the ui header this is the player script and this is the header ui where we have all of our uis here uh, and I'm going to add in a private tm pro dot text mesh pro uh, text mesh pro UGUI long name and this is going to be called uh, ammo text and what you do is uh, uh, all right uh, okay what you do in the start method is you say ammo text dot set text uh, and we set the text to be uh, our ammo plus and this plus our max ammo all right this and we are going to uh, copy this line of code because we are going to do the same uh, okay I, I was actually thinking of doing it in the update function but I'm actually going to remove this from here as well we are actually going to do this in the uh, in the update function sorry no not in the fire function the reason for that is because we are also going to increase our ammo when we uh, actually, you know, uh, we actually have the pickups, so we want it to be updated all the time. So we are just going to do it in the update function, even though doing it in separate functions would be more optimized, I guess. But we are going to do it this way, anyways. So you can see it's 20 by 100. Uh, it's okay. We haven't even set it. Okay, just drag the ammo text in the UI here. Okay, now hit play, and you should see that. It stays at 20 by 100 and once we shoot 19 18 17 and yeah that's working and we can you know do anything we want and yeah that's that's pretty awesome so yeah now we have got a working ammo ui system as well so now it's time to implement the ammo pick now doing that is a really simple adding the ammo bezel so i'm going to what i'm going to do is actually for the Sprite and what I have done is gone ahead in my package manager and for the free from the free 2d mega pack Which I will give a link to download in the description below go under my asset select free 2d mega pack and uh, go under import then select none and just import this uh, if you go under uh, You know Items folder then you can see we have got a grungy folder here. 
just import that all right import the this folder and that should uh, be it just import this folder that's all the only folder we need then you can go under this folder uh, inside of your assets and you can uh, you can take this select this shotgun shell and make sure that it has got four pixels per unit then drag it inside I actually not four pixels it was fine at the default eight it was by default eight I just made it four okay just make it four uh, eight and then uh, you can drag one in here but before you do that right click and create an empty object called ammo pickup this is going to be our actual ammo pickup and I need to make sure that it is at uh, zero 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 and then uh, drag a shotgun uh, shell under it and then drag another one and then another one then make sure that one of them is slightly above the other just move it up and one of them is slightly below uh, so what this will do is that it will uh, give us kind of you know a nice uh, graphical uh, hint that this is an ammo pickup and then maybe you can select all of these and maybe increase their sizes a little bit and then of course I will have to move this up further and move this down further uh, yeah that that looks pretty nice uh, I think I made it a bit too large though maybe it was fine at what it was before uh, just I'm going to change this to 1.25 move this one up and this one down all right that looks pretty nice this is going to be our ammo pickup graphics and then select the ammo pickup add in a box collider 2d then go under edit collider and uh, just make sure that it's I think that's, that's pretty nice actually uh, you may you might want to move it like this a little bit it doesn't need to be perfect and this is our ammo pickup uh, maybe you want to uh, if you want it to be a little larger still then make the ammo pickup size uh, a little bit more then yeah that that looks pretty nice uh, you can see we have got a nice graphics and now we can start adding the ammo pickup script here now you might want to make a generic pickup script and you know have a like kind of hierarchy so that you can uh, make it a little bit better but but we are not going to do that because we only need ammo pickups not any other kind of pickup because this is just a small kind of game and let's create a, a new c -sharp script here called ammo pickup pick up and then drag this ammo pickup script inside of this okay let it compile first or else it won't let you do that and uh, yeah it's still loading the script assembly because it compiles and it reloads so yeah and just drag it in the ammo pickup now that nice and then you can double click this to open it up in visual studio in here remove these two functions remove the using tags and add in a uh, on trigger enter 2d function uh, this is collider 2d just going to rename this to other and check if other dot game object dot compare tag player which means that that is a player then we are going to go other dot get component player uh, and then of course we need a function in the so I'm going to go under the player class right now and I'm going to just add in here a uh, give below this shoot function I'm going to add in a public uh, void increase ammo and then we are going to have an int uh, actually this is going to be a uint uh, increase uh, amount yeah. and then what this will do is that it will say uh, ammo plus equal the increase amount and we are going to check if ammo is greater than max ammo max uh, ammo we then we are going to set ammo is equal to max ammo not uh, the other way around ammo is equal to max ammo all right this should work so in here what we can do is say dot increase ammo and we can increase the ammo to whatever we like but of course in order to do that I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually first of all let me just go here and say ammo here and we are going to create a CLI field here CLI field a private int ammo so yeah this should work so we are going to increase this ammo by ammo and u int by the way and yeah this should this should work so if I like go in unity and let it compile what you should see is that we get our ammo here uh, and yes we do and just make it something like 5 also uh, before I go any further let me just make a prefab out of this 
and move it somewhere down and now we are going to hit play and uh, I can actually uh, actually this won't work uh, because we haven't still got a, a trigger here so just make sure that it is a trigger and if I hit play now then this will work uh, you might actually need to add a rigid body but you can see that my ammo increases and then it increases and if I keep going then it keeps increasing of course we don't want that so after doing this we must make sure that we destroy a game object to, to destroy this game object so yeah this should work so if I let compile again and then I hit play then this should actually start to work so now you should see that we can collect that ammo and that increases uh, our ammo by 5 and yeah that works. So yeah we've got pretty much a nice game and in the next video we will create a level for our game and then we will finalize our game in the other video you know uh, episode number 13 and that will be the last episode and then uh, make sure to give me uh, some ideas in the comments about what uh, series to start next. Do you want to learn something else like the Unreal Engine or uh, should we continue with the Unity series? So yeah, I will see you in the next video and make sure to like and subscribe and bye.